It's the Russell Brown Show. In this episode, I'm going to talk about working with video layers inside of Photoshop CS3. I'm going to select my spacebar key now to stop this current video. And you can also select that same spacebar key to start your video. So let's go back in time to my original video image, clicking here in history to reveal that, to see that this piece of video is very blue in color cast. We're going to correct this and add the text to this project. First, I'm going to go over here to the Layers tab palette right there and select my Spotted Ray video file right here. Now, how did I get this into Photoshop? I went to the File menu, selected Open, and targeted a QuickTime movie and brought it into Photoshop. Then once inside of Photoshop, I needed to reveal my Animation Timeline window, so I went to the Window menu and selected Animation right there. Now let's get started and take a look at some of the basics of working with video layers. If I click here on the current time indicator, I can move to any point in time along my video just like this. I can also shorten or edit the length of this video by clicking here and moving my work area over to the right, in fact my start point over to the right just like this, or my end point here over to the left. If I'd like to preview that exact point, I move my current time indicator to the point where I want to start my movie right about there, then move my end, or in this case, my start point here. And once again, let's move this over here and find out where my end is right about there. And again, bring this end point in right there. So that's our first step in working on this project. Now, if we hit the spacebar key, it will only play the section of movie inside of the begin point and the end point for your work area, just like this. And it will repeat itself over and over again until you hit the spacebar key. Now what I want to do is position this at the exact point where I want to set my color correction, which is right about here. Then, making sure that I have Spotted Ray Video selected here in my Layers Palette, I can now go down to the base of my Layers Palette and select Create New Fill or Adjustment Layer. And in this case, I'm going to create a non-destructive adjustment layer for Levels. To make this simple, I'm just going to select the Auto button to Auto Color Correct this. Looks great. But I might also do a little bit of adjustment here to the white point to make it a little bit brighter, and the black point to make my dark regions a little bit more opaque, just like that. Then I click OK. And of course, since this is a non-destructive adjustment layer, I can go back in later and make corrections to that. Let's preview our video here by scrubbing through our timeline. Looks pretty good. And we've color corrected this. Let's turn on a layer that I created earlier of the text here, the spotted eagle ray text. And now if we hit our spacebar key, we can watch our video play. So you've just seen some great ways to color correct video quickly and easily using Photoshop's levels adjustments. And I went ahead and added some text into this project as well. Spacebar, there you have it. You've completed your project and you learned some basics to working with Photoshop and video layers.